parallel operations versus an index. And here's the question that came in. I have a query that is using an index scan, and th this question person likes having an index scan, but I would like to speed it up. When I add the parallel hint, it disables index use entirely. And the question is, why would parallel do that? Let's answer it with a very powerful statement first, but obviously I'll then try to justify this to you. Parallel operations do not affect index usage in any way, shape, or form. You can do parallel operations with an index. You can do parallel operations without an index. But what parallel hints do do, or parallel enabled at the session level do do, is it impacts the costing of queries. And the moment you can change the cost of a query, that can change the execution plan that comes out of that query. So I thought, let's have a little demo to show you how parallel hints can affect impact costing and therefore dramatically change execution plans. One would imagine, hopefully, for the better most of the time. Let's do a new share. So I'm going to create a table. It's a copy of DBA objects plus a few more rows in there just to put a bit of a bias in one of the columns. I'm going to create an index on this column called col, which was originally the owner column. So it's all the distinct owners from DBA object plus a nice heavy bias toward the value of system. Then I'm going to gather optimizer stats, and you can see there I've done for all column size 255, which will get me a nice healthy histogram on all the columns, but in particular my column called col, and we're getting a histogram of the different owners. Let's do a simple explain plan for select star from t with a column equals system. We print out the we print out the execution plan, and we can see we're at the opening state that our original poster came in with. I've got a query select star from t where col equals system and it's using an index range scan. Let's now add a parallel hint. So I'm, I'm happy with my index range scan, but I'd like it to be faster. So I throw a parallel hint in there to hopefully do two parallel index range scans. And as we can see, adding the parallel hint has ditched the index plan. It's actually come up with table access full now and our typical PX style operations inside our execution plan. And as you can see, this is effectively the motivation I'd imagine for the question. I added the parallel hint, my index scan disappeared. Has does parallel disable index? Let's, let's proceed onwards. Let's now do a full scan of this table. So let's take the index out, but also take the parallel out as well and check out the cost. The cost says 545. Let's now do an index cost adjustment. I'm gonna blow out my index costs now to even make it more expensive to actually use an index. And as you can see, the database has said, look, forget the index now, full table scans are much, much cheaper than an index scan. This is artificial because I've told the optimizer to deliberately double the cost of an index. And when it was looking at the index range plan, it said, well, rather than being whatever its original cost was, it's now double that and therefore 545 is a little bit lower. So you can see that the database, even without parallel, will toggle between index and full table scans simply based on cost. So for example, here, I can do the opposite. Just to prove that parallel does not disable index use, I'm going to take the index and make them 1 100th as expensive. So I'm actually now telling the optimizer, look, indexes are just insanely cheap and I'll put a parallel hint on there. And there we go. It said, your indexes are so good, I'm not gonna use your parallel hint. Why would I bother? Because simply doing an index range scan is, is literally a cost of one. It's infinitely quick because I've deliberately manipulated the optimizer calculation by making indexes insanely cheap. It actually works in all ways. Parallel may turn off index use, in this case, parallel was simply ignored because index use looks so ridiculously impressive. If I say, let's do a parallel index, what will the database do? I've said, look, I want to not do parallel full table scan. I want to do parallel index instead. And once again, it said, look, I'm just going to ignore that because the concept of doing a parallel index range scan doesn't actually exist in the Oracle database because it really makes no sense unless that index is partitioned because then each partition of an index can be allocated to a particular parallel worker thread. One place where you can get benefit from both parallel and indexing on a non-partition table 
is if you tell the database, I want to do an indexed fast full scan, because that is equivalent to a multi-block read, like a full table scan, but on a index structure. So hopefully this will tell me, yep. So in this case, it actually said, I'm gonna do an index fast full scan, and that I can do in parallel, because I can do multi-block reads, even though this index is not partitioned. So hopefully that explains to our poster here that the concept of parallel turning off indexes is not true. What parallel does do is manipulate the costing decisions made by the optimizer. And then once those costing decisions have been altered, the database does what it always does. It lines up the possible plans and says, which one do I think is the cheapest and therefore the fastest and chooses that one. Feel free to keep using those parallel hints if you wanna get parallel operations, but don't be dismayed. It's actually a, an intelligent decision by the database to say, well, in this particular case, it's better off to actually go with a full table scan. Hopefully that answers that question. Um, just on the, on the topic of adding parallel hints, because one of the things I do see, especially in environments where we have, uh, what, what's, what's the term, citizen, citizen developers, where we have, for example, business intelligence folk or data analysts who are SQL savvy, but perhaps not Oracle database internal savvy. The most common thing you'll see is I ran a query, ah, huh, it's not running as fast as I like. Let's bang a parallel hint on there. And hey, presto, it might run better, which is probably going to be true because what you're simply doing is saying, let's just chew up as much server resource as possible. My general rule for approaching SQL tuning is, is I'll do everything I can before using parallel to see if I can make a SQL statement faster. And then if I, if I get to the point where that's as fast as I can get it and I still need to be quicker, then I'll consider using parallel. Because if I take parallel as being last, we call it the Kiwi approach, the killing it with iron. Uh, so I, I prefer to, let's see what other tuning opportunities are there first. And once I've exhausted all of those, change the design, adding indexes, removing indexes, changing the query, et cetera. Once I've come to a, an equilibrium or a steady state, then if I need to go better, then I'll maybe engage some parallel operations as well. That, that's my general rule. Hopefully that's <laughs>